Hello. Well, today I'm going to try and be as brief as possible, since I'm not going to be talking about uh, any specific movie. Um, instead, a trilogy overall. A trilogy that, uh, as a kid, I watched over and over, and uh, I've always enjoyed watching them. Uh, that, of course, is the Back to the Future trilogy. Um, now, uh, this trilogy uh, has a special place in my heart. Um, everybody involved from the acting, you know, Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd in particular, being the main characters of this whole trilogy, are excellent. Uh, Robert Zemeckis, uh, has, he did an incredible job directing these films as well as co-writing them with Bob Gale. Um, yeah, I, I just want to just say how much I really enjoy these films. They're incredible. They're fun. And I've always, uh, I've always enjoyed watching them every so often. Um, the last time I watched these films was back in 2015. You know, the day that Mar Marty McFly and Doc Brown came to the then future. Uh, these movies were played back to back in theaters. I didn't see, I didn't, I didn't get to see that at all. I just knew I was never going to be able to see these movies on the big screen. just was never going to happen, but I was able to watch all, all of these films at home, you know, the DVDs and all, starting at the exact time, uh, all of the movies began, and, uh, they, I, I believe they had listings of, not just the first one as to when that was going to start, but two and three, I believe they started two, at the exactly the moment uh, where, in the time where they would be into the, the future, so that was really cool. And I was it was really fun to watch these films back to back like that in a late afternoon evening. I had never done that before, um, and I haven't done it since. I mean, I've watched these movies since, but it's usually like one at a time, never back to back again. Um, now, uh, you know, I've talked about other franchises, you know, by Star Wars, clearly. I talk about my fondness of Batman films, but never really talked about Back to the Future, and I don't really know why. I, I've, I've always enjoyed Back to the Future. I've always thought these movies were really uh, fantastic, really funny, um, the first one, to me, is the best of them all. I know there are many people who really love two. Uh, they love the direction that two goes in. And I do, too, and I understand that. Um, you know, that's a fun film uh, to watch. Um, but I just love one. It's just There's just something about one that is just fantastic. Um, and, of course, you know, they never intended to ever make sequels. Obviously, the end was somewhat of a cliffhanger, but that was... A joke that was always supposed to be a joke, never to be taken seriously. It's just like the adventure continues, and we will never see them go to 2015. But you know, Back to the Future became a huge hit and made a lot of money, and so they got to do a sequel, and they decided to uh, write two movies instead of just one sequel, um, which were then shot back to back. Um, you know, and um, I think uh, these films were some of the earliest examples of films being shot back to back. Um, I don't want to say these were the first; those two and three were the first uh, to be shot back to back. I don't think that would be completely accurate, but at least some of the most notable films to ever be. Uh, shot back to back and uh that definitely helped because you know there was you know you didn't have to wait many years for 
the conclusion of part three. Um, and part three I enjoy, um, and I find every time I watch part three, I enjoy it more and more. Um, uh, there are some members of my family who aren't fond of Mary Steenburgen. They think she just kind of ruins the movie or drags it down from being as good as it could be, like maybe they should have replaced her uh, with someone else. And I guess I can see that, but I also think if there's any problems with the Clara character in Part 3, it might be how she's written. Not necessarily uh, uh, Steenburgen's performance, but then again, I don't believe uh, most family members of mine are big fans of Mary Steenburgen anyway, so that probably didn't help at all. Um, but I, I guess I could see how, you know, Clara for many could be not, not fun. She's not maybe a fun character compared to some of the others we've uh, encountered in this trilogy. Um, I don't mind, uh, you know, uh, I don't really mind her, uh, her, that character. Uh, nor Mary Steenburgen in that role. That's just me. Um, maybe when I was younger, I kind of felt that way, but as time has gone on, as I've said, I I enjoy this film more and more. That uh, that one in particular. Um, it's not my favorite. I would say it's probably like my least favorite, but I would say it's like sort of like Godfather Three. I enjoy it no matter, it, despite the fact that it's my least favorite. But I think it's just. Uh, it's, it's quite good anyway. Uh, it fits in there. Part 3, uh, Back to the Future, is just uh, fantastic, uh, in my opinion. You know, and of course, the Western uh, influences of that are always fun. Obviously, Clint Eastwood, the biggest one. Um, and oh, how the fact that the Revenge of the Creature poster is behind Marty when he mentions Clint Eastwood, and, you know, that was like his first movie he was ever in. You know, he was all, if you've never seen Revenge of the Creature, Clint Eastwood is there for a little bit, and he's the guy in a lab coat with a rat in his uh, pocket, uh, his lab coat. Um, but, yeah, this is a, these are fun films to watch every so often. Um, I have fond memories watching these movies, uh, as a kid, uh, I love rewatching them, uh, and I just thought that I don't know why uh, these movies just sort of were in my mind lately, and I thought I should just make a video uh, expressing my fondness for these films uh, because they're quite good. Uh, uh, not my favorite film trilogy of all time, but. Definitely one of my favorite uh, film trilogies of all time. Uh, a lot of fond memories uh, watching the, these films, and uh, I always enjoy rewatching them. Um, yeah, it's really all I have to say. It's all I really wanted to say. Uh, I didn't want to make a long video about you know, <laughs> uh, the films individually because. One day I might do that. I don't know when. I don't want to set a specific date as to when I will uh, uh, make a make three separate videos of each movie uh, because you know, I don't want to uh, say something and then things happen. And I just don't get around to making those videos as well as watching the films because I like to watch the movies. Uh, uh, sometime before I make a video just so I have a good refresher of the film even if it's like these movies I've seen them many times uh, but there could be something that I might want to talk about a little bit that uh, you know uh, if it's been a while since I rewatched them I could possibly forget and you know, I don't want to do that um, so yeah this uh, that's all uh, I really wanted to say <clears throat> about these films. I find them to be excellent and always entertaining to watch. Um, 
And I like it when a film and a series that, you know, even if you're not fond of it, you know, as the more you watch it, the more uh, the, the, your fondness grows with it, each, with each view. That definitely happens with me with part three. Um, not my favorite of them all, but uh, I just, yeah, I just enjoy it more and more. One is my favorite. And then two, and then three. Uh, there didn't need to be a sequel to the first film, but, you know, it's cool that there was. And we got not just one sequel, but two. You know, it was a fun trilogy uh, to watch. Um, that's really all I have to say. Uh, I hope you're all uh, having a great day having a great weekend and a great week, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.